Hey guys, what is up? Ioki here, bringing you some more high elo uh, gameplay on my main. Uh, you guys seem to really enjoy these videos where I, you know, not we're not doing troll builds, we're not messing around or playing with friends or anything like that. We're just straight up grinding solo queue and uh, looking to climb. So we're about to hit 400 LP. I know we've got a couple challengers in this game. Um, we're actually against TF Blade on his mid the, cha uh, mid the challenger challenge. So should be a really fun game. He's, I notice he's mostly just playing like champions that he's already good at just by virtue of being a like really mechanical good top laner like he's playing like jacks mid and like aurelia mid did we really only get the f one minion out of the first three that's kind of crazy uh but anyways this is going to be very very try hard uh, if i win this game i'm actually at 400 lp we'll be somewhere around like 410 lp so we climbing up boys slowly but surely All right, we do not fight here right now because I've got no stun for two seconds. We're pushing for two. We're pushing for two. Man, I wish that... Oof, ooh, we could actually get some good damage here. Nice. First blood. And we got flash. That's so big, actually. Really, really big. Actually, just might be straight up diveable. I have no idea what's going on in the top lane, but <laughs> it appears to be... A bit of a fiesta. Alright, Alistar hit level 2, so... Might be a little bit harder to dive. I don't think Kindred is down here, but it's very possible. Oh, MF is... Wow. That was 100% just like a dive. I can't believe she wasn't ready for the dive like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just Q him, E him, and then flash out so I don't get the CC'd under turret. But Anyways. We got first blood level 2. Very, very good, nice. Um, I think my ADC might be autofilled, just like looking at how they're playing, but they might, they, you know, it might just be one of those things where it's like, they're just not in sync with us, right? Like, we've just got a more aggressive play style. Nice, well played, guys, well played. Alright, so Alistar, no flash, but he does have Hex Flash, care, Hex Flash, careful, careful, this is like 100% like a play that Alistar can make right now. Okay, thank god. Yeah, if you ever, like, break vision with an Alistar with Hex Flash, you absolutely have to respect it and just assume that he's in one of these three bushes. You have to. Alright, Alistar is moving. No, he's not. He's staying in lane. I'm try I'm kind of just, like, hovering him, just shadowing his movement, because if a fight breaks out in the river, I need to be right behind him, if not there before him. But... The wave is in a place that they actually have prior right now. Not for much longer, though. We're going to shove this. Lee Sin's wanting to fight for the crab. We get it. Nice, nice. Oh, he double crabbed that kindred. That's huge. This is big. So outside of Kog'Maw doing like a little bit of magic damage and Alistar dealing magic damage, uh, they're actually all AD. So we're in a really good spot to just stack armor. Like, Plated Steel Caps is going to be absolutely god tier against them. I'm just going to ping for uh, my team that we should all be stacking armor. We see Kindred mid. Uh, and another thing I want to say about this match... Oh! What, another thing I want to say about this matchup is that Alistar has uh, Phase Rush, so he's not actually tanky. So he's 100% a vi viable target. But notice that like I was walking away from this Alistar because the only play they have there after I've already caught the Kog'Maw is Alistar cues me and then Ws me in the turret. So as long as he can't cue me and then get walk to the other side of me, it's fine. How is this going so poorly? There we go, baby! Huge, huge on the bot side. Or the... The back side of that dive so that was kind of risky i couldn't actually go in any further because i was tanking turret so if i get cc'd i just absolutely die so i needed to stand over here and i had my flash ready if the alistar w would me that looked disastrous though that looked like all three of us were gonna die there for a second i was not happy about that dive uh steel caps massive value dude honestly i wouldn't even mind if mf bought steel caps this game like they are all ad auto attackers Alright, I'm moving mid. Respect. Respect Ali while I roam. Oh, 
okay. LeBlanc dies here, unfortunately. I'm here. But I'm not sure we can actually fight anymore. Oh, yes we can. We absolutely can. Run, brother. Oh my gosh. Well, TF Blade's gonna be pretty fed this game. Uh, I don't think the Lisa needed to go in there, man. Oh, and we die on the dive top. Oh my lord. Oh, that whole time. That really sucks because we actually had the numbers advantage there, believe it or not. So Kogmal just gets to, like, scale and get solo experience bot side while we lose a fight. That's really, really bad for us. Well, at least we kill him, though. Nice. Oh, if we can get, uh, if we can get Mountain Drake this game, that'd be massive. I might be walking into... They might just be all three on it, but I don't have a ward. I swapped out my yellow trinket for red trinket because it's melee into melee matchup. So th if they're on, if they're on dragon, I can't do anything about it really. I really want to roam and like affect this top lane matchup because it seems incredibly volatile. But I'm really afraid that my ADC is not going to respect the Alistar hex flash and just die. So I think I have to like play bot side as much as possible. I'm gonna go to the back side here and drop a control ward. Or if this vision thing is up, we'll use it for the dragon. It is. Wow. They didn't take dragon. That's pretty big for us actually. It's pretty nice. Play for dragon. Getting mountain big versus them. Since they're all AD. Alright, this guy has Mobies as well. So, if he starts roaming... Honestly, that's the play for him. Is he, he just roams. He doesn't land against me anymore. And then he just catches these solo queue players off guard. But, so far... Game's in a pretty decent state for us. Okay, so Kindred's top, which means we get Dragon. We 100% get, get Dragon. So I'm just going to... Alistar does have Flash. I, Lee Sin should be able to, to solo it. And I don't I don't think I can leave MF here against an Alistar with Flash. So she needs to back up. You need to back up. You need to back up, bro. I can look mid here. As long as she respects. As long as she respects. I'm looking mid. I'm going mid. This could be a good long-term fight for us. Unless uh, Camille dies to Aurelia, like literally right here. Yeah, this is really good. That's huge. That's huge, boys. That's the roam right there, boy. That's that's the play. That's the play. Massive, massive. It's great, great job for Camille to uh, alt and stall for Lee Sin to get his W. That was huge. Great job. They did get Rift Herald, but we got Dragon against an all-AD team. We got Mountain Drake. Their team comp is, like, really, really bad. Oof. Okay, Fiora's TP's down. So we're not at threat of that. Alistar is in lane. Nice, nice. What's funny about this is that Alistar is actually a bigger threat to us if he's not showing on the map. Like, if I don't know where he's at, he's way scarier. And just sitting in lane like this. Yeah, top is super volatile, I guess. I, I don't know how you lose that with Ignite, but she's getting 1v1'd a lot. It's all good. Just armor up. Armor up, boys. We should be good. God tier purchase. Okay, she cleansed, so I can actually look mid. I'm 202. We're not doing bad, boys. Not doing bad. But guys, hey, let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more videos like this. Uh, I know, you know, some, most people enjoy my kind of like for fun, off meta stuff where we're just vibing, uh, building weird builds. But uh, I know a lot of people like really enjoy the uh, high elo stuff. So 
let me know if, if this is what you guys want. Alistar, you better hope you're not in this bush, bro. Oh, he's ba oh, we can bait this, we can bait this, we can bait this. Oh, no, he got, oh, the Kog'Maw passive got him. It's a three for one, though, that's not bad, that's not bad. I don't even think we needed the LeBlanc teleport. Yeah, it was actually a pretty bad teleport, because now he loses mid plate mids. But, it's okay. That was really good. I chained my E into my R on my Kindred. It was really, really nice. It's because I didn't actually have my, my Q up. I think they're going for a dive top. That should be the play anyways. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, unfortunately, I have a 300 gold shutdown. <laughs> That is very unlucky. I have picked up quite a lot of kills this game. Can I sell this and get that? Nope. Can I sell this, sell a control ward, and wait 35 gold? That's not even worth it. Aw, oh, man, guys. What are we doing over there? Okay, okay. So, at least we got first turret. Alistar should be positioning in a way that he can just dive this. Like, he should be hex flashing over right here. <sighs> Spooky. Okay, I still have my ult. Oh my god, I'm on a rampage, bro. Why am I getting so many of these kills, guys? Why is this happening? Alright, we gotta be really careful, man, because once again, we're letting, we're taking these fights, and we're kind of, like, we're doing well, we did well in that one, but we kind of lost another fight where we had numbers advantage, actually. Dude, I have a 400 gold shutdown. This is so unfortunate. I hate the shutdown system, guys. I hate it. It really feels like you're punished just for doing your job sometimes. Like, eventually, I'm going to die, right? There's not really much I can do about it. I can't change that. So eventually I'm just gonna, there's just gonna be like a huge 700 gold swing. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine with this. I'm fine with Alistar committing to this fight because like, he doesn't win it. And once, Alistar's just like me, man. Like once you go in, you're in, you're not coming back out. Alright, I need to hover her to make sure Kendra doesn't kill her, but she's out. We should be getting our second Drake. 407. Oh my god, I am big. I am very fed this game. I am strangely fed this game. Alright, which way are you going, TF Blade? Which way are you going, bro? Kindred may jump over the wall there. There's Kindred. Got him stunned, got him deaded. Good stuff. Alright, take our next dragon. So we're in a very good spot because one, we outscale, and two, we're already winning early. Got some really nice late game insurance. I am pretty sure one of us would have to die IRL to not win this game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start coming over here. Okay, they got her. Nice. Fjord is just always so scary. I've seen her do some really nutty things in the, in the past. Oh my god. Alright, well that's warded now. It's really open. Alistar just face check that. Don't do it, Lee. Don't do it, bro. Uh, Kindred might be on this. Have, have we seen Kindred for a while? All right, I got my locket. That was probably Kindred that used the vision uh, vision plant over there, which means that she's probably tr oh. All I mean, I just wanted the back, but like, okay. I, I just wanted the back, bro. You did that to yourself, homie. We need in the game early, guys. Why? We outscale like a hundred percent. We outscale. I mean, Kog'Maw, Kog'Maw alone, it's fine. I don't want to argue with him, but 
we're not in a position where we need to like be making like forcing plays because we, when people say that yes 100 yes. we all skill get a single armor item trust like trust me bro those are all ad auto attackers Now, if you take a random fight with Aurelia in a side lane, <laughs> things could get a little dicey, but... If we just don't play into them, don't play into their one win con, we'll be fine. <whistles> what the heck was that? Don't get dove, bro. Don't get dove, homie. Don't get dove. There's the dive. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Well, they don't have a wave to push, I don't think, do they? I don't want to be walking into all three of them here, but I do want to, like, be tracking them. No, 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 don't, don't give them the play, bud. Don't give them the play. We're fine. All right, Kindred's moving away from it. Alistar has not shown yet. We get top turret. We get... Yeah, there's Alistar. Good flash, good flash. I'm going to come down on that. Nice, nice, nice. I'm also having to play like a little bit uh, safer than I would like to because of this massive gold swing that I have that if I die. Like if me and Lisa and die, they genuinely are still back in the game. So, uh, Camille's probably dead. Oh, she got the stun off though. She should win that. You can, you can play it slow. Nice, nice, nice. That's Fiora's Flash. As you guys can tell, uh, sometimes in high elo, games are just complete fiestas, man. Complete team deathmatch fiestas. Let's drop this top. Uh, I'm going to position near Lee. We're going to plug that there. We're going to get some deep, aggressive vision. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. TF Blade, bro. He's tilted. He's tilted, guys. <laughs> The uh, blade is tilted, guys. Okay, we're fighting over here. Boom. Oh, this is a TP. So this is that swing that I'm talking about. If I if I give a kill here, it's a thousand gold. So please hit her, please hit her, please hit her, bro. Oh my God! See, that's what I'm talking about, man. Like, Fiora just got, like, 2,000 gold. It's very, very bad for us. And Kog'Maw just got the other 1,000. Okay, no, he didn't die. He didn't die. Thank God. <gasps> that was so close. So close, boys. Play for Dragon. Scary. These ga games like this, guys, it's never, it's just never over, is, is what I'm trying to, try, what I'm trying to emphasize here. It looks like it's over. It's 31 to 13. But, like, Fiora just got a lot of gold. She basically just got a, enough gold for, like, an entire item. Or at least a big item component. And now she, like, splits. And we play into the advantage that she has. Where she's the grand duelist and can probably 1v1 or gets a 1v1 off. She gets another shutdown, you know. Things can snowball out of control real fast. That's why you always want to... If you're a bot laner, one of the biggest influences you can have on the game is controlling the dragon. So it gives us a lot of nice late game insurance, even if we do flub a fight or two. Having uh, three dragons is going to be pretty nice. Dragon, guys, play to the objective. Oh, they're just doing a Hail Mary, huh? Nope, they're not. Not on it. Interesting. I missed my E there. Okay. Wow. We got pretty lucky there. Guys, get the dragon. Dragon, guys. Please get the dragon. Guys. Dragon. We're not doing Baron. We're not doing Baron with no ADC. Dragon. 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 Any dragon gamers, guys? Any dragoners? In a gameplay, I mean, I'm five one and sixteen, bro. <laughs> what? What more do you want from me, man? 
Take Nasher and end. Don't flip it. There's literally no reason to coin flip the, the Baron. Like, you, when, when it comes to objectives like this, you want to be thinking about the risk to reward ratio. Like, what do we get out of Baron? Oh, we get to, like, a nice gold swing, which we already are super, super up. Um, and then we get to be able to run over them in team fights. We are already doing that. So what happens if the enemy team happens to get a lucky steal? That's a massive gold swing. And they get the stall with Baron. Like, it's just not worth the risk, like, the risk to reward, reward ratio. It's just not in our favor to do a, a, a Baron call. But it looks like we're going to do it anyway. So I guess let's just hope that it goes well. Um, I, I'll, I'll try to go outside the pit and keep Kindred from getting in. Yeah, okay, see? Okay, this is pretty good. I got her? Okay, I didn't got her. He got her, though. Alright, now we can bear it. Now that Kindred is dead and it's not a coin flip. Nice. Now we bear it. Good job. There's the FF. So, boys, we just hit 400 LP. Got a nice little win against TF Blade. Uh, TF Blade, if you watch this, listen, bro. <laughs> nothing personal, man. GG. Uh, we still homies, alright? Let's take a look at the damage chart. We'll give the honor to... We'll give it to Lee Sin. We'll give it to Lee Sin, honestly. Not bad. And as you can see, I am now at 405 LP. Not bad. So, guys, please remember to comment down below if you guys want to see some more high ELO support gameplay uh, from the Rank 1 Leona. I would love to put out more videos like this. You know, try hard, focused, actually nose to the grindstone, grinding. Uh, but I need to know that that's what you guys want on the channel. So, take it easy, boys. Hope you enjoyed the game. Peace out.